So I'm sitting here in the church sanctuary all alone. We've got every other pew marked off with caution tape. It's empty. And it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking about questions like, is there a better way that we can follow Jesus right now? Is there a better way that we can love God wholly and love our neighbor radically in this world that we're living in? Is there a better perspective that we can have as Christians in our world today? And the answer to those questions is yes, but before I get to why, let me take you to Psalm 73, where the writer of the psalm spends about the first 16 verses basically ranting against the world that he's living in. And he's ranting against the rich people. He's talking about how they seem to have just the good life, the easy life, no problems whatsoever. And he looks at himself and he wonders, is it even worth following Jesus? This guy is jealous, he's bitter, he's uh, thrown out some pretty serious doubts, he's cynical. And then something happens in verse 17. It says this, Then I went into your sanctuary, O God, and I finally understood the destiny of the wicked. This guy went to church, and what happened was his perspective changed. All those emotions that he expressed in those first 16 verses completely changed. And if you were to read the next 10 or so verses of that psalm from verses 18 to 28, you'll find a whole new perspective that this guy is choosing to live with. So now let's fast forward to Philippians chapter 2, where it says in Philippians 2, verse 5, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Or you must have the same perspective that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges, or he gave up his rights. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. And you know where it goes on from there. He gave up his rights and he died on the cross for us so that we could have life. So what does it mean to have the same perspective, the same attitude that Christ Jesus had? Well, to get the answer to that question, we have to go back to verse 3, where it says, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of yourselves as better, sorry, thinking of others <laughs> as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You see, right now, there's so many Christians in America who are clinging so tightly to their rights as Americans. And I just wonder if there's a better way to live and a better way to love others. So what does that look like? Maybe for you it looks like giving up your right to not have to wear a mask and put on a mask and come to church. Or maybe for you it means taking a fast from social media for a month so you don't need to fill your mind with all the noise or even add to the noise that's out there right now of people arguing and complaining about all sorts of things. Or maybe it's to take the time to be kind and to listen to someone who has a different viewpoint than you. Have a conversation. There's a better way that we can live right now as Christians in America. And I hope that you think about these things as you consider your life and whether or not you are choosing to love God wholly and love your neighbor radically right now.